Hey guys, today has been a crazy day. I got out here first thing in the morning, the sun was barely up, got the boat in the water, got to my dive spot, I was going to try a new spot, and then I go to pressurize the tank, the regulator, and just air shoots out. And it turns out that I was missing an o-ring for my regulator. And uh, it, I had to go back home, bring all my gear back in, uh, head back to the house. I, luckily, I found the o-ring. Um, put it back in the regulator, checked to make sure everything worked, and then ran back out here. Uh, I ended up deciding to do just like a five or ten minute dive just to see what the bottom looked like. And I'm so glad I did because this is such a good spot. I was down there not even ten minutes and I found two meg teeth. Not huge, but still nice teeth. Um, and then a really decent sized mako. So I'm pretty sure this is a mango. Once I get it cleaned up, I'll know for sure. Um, but I mean, literally in, uh, in 10 minutes, I got these three teeth. So it tells me I'm on a really good spot. I'm really excited to jump back in and, uh, and see what's in store for me. Hey guys, so I'm back on land, uh, finished up my second dive. The tide was coming in really quick, so I had to get back to land and get the boat out of the water before the boat ramp flooded, uh, otherwise I can't get out for hours. And uh, But the second dive was absolutely insane. <clears throat> I anchored and the, uh, the primary anchor 
wasn't really hooking. I could feel it like trying to grab. And so it was kind of hanging on and letting go, hanging on and letting go. And so I decided I was gonna dive down on the primary anchor and, uh, and bury it into the clay, uh, which isn't something I normally do. I normally dive down the second anchor. And uh, I'm so glad I decided to secure the first anchor because um, I, was, I was going down the anchor line and I see a black rock with ridges in it. And I just found a mammoth tooth last week. And so it was fresh in my mind. At first I thought maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me because how could I get so lucky in two weeks? Uh, and then, so I started uncovering it and then I had to dig it out. It was actually really buried into the sand and even the clay. And so I had to bring out the knife and chip away the clay and everything and, and pull this tooth out. But it's absolutely massive and it's in so much better shape than the one last week. So let me pull it out of the bucket. This is the tooth. It's insane. So this is the top plate right here. This is the root system down here. I mean, this is a huge Colombian mammoth tooth. I am just beyond stoked to have found something like this. It's in such good shape. Two mammoth teeth in two weeks is absolutely insane. Um, and, uh, and this thing weighs a ton and it wouldn't fit in either of my collection bags. I've been thinking about buying a bigger collection bag, but I was like, eh, I never find anything that big. And uh, I think now I'm gonna need to. So I actually had to end that dive early, come back up to the surface, um, I had to use my inflator to, uh, to help me get to the surface because this weighed so much. And, uh, but got up to the surface, dropped this back off, got back in the water, um, started the dive again. Unfortunately, my second dive didn't result in as many megalodon teeth as I thought. So the, uh, when, I, when I did the first drop, I found a bunch in one spot. And then uh, when I went back down the second time, I got a little bit disoriented. And so I actually only found one more megalodon tooth. I certainly can't complain with the mammoth tooth. That makes any day. Um, so I've got three megalodon teeth, uh, one mako tooth, and one hemi as well, and then a bunch of whale ear bones. Um, and I, I'm really excited to dive this spot again because I, uh, I know I, I came up on a ledge and then I went, I went down instead of going up, and I really should have gone up. And I think that's where all the megalodon teeth were. So the spot is right for picking again. I'm beyond stoked.